Smart grids are a vital element of the future energy landscape. We hear a lot about the technology and infrastructure developments, but the big challenge for system operators is big data. How to actually make use of the information gathered. With me to discuss this and other smart grid challenges are Bert Taub and Dr. Robert Brammer from Silicon Valley based Versant Corp. Bert, Robert, welcome. Thank you, it's good to be here. Robert, tell us why smart grids are so important. Well, the notion of a smart grid is uh, an electric power grid with a much higher utilization of advanced information technology to get more uh, flexibility and effective use of electricity. So there are two major advantages in this concept. One is that electric power will be delivered much more cost effectively than the current power grid. And the second is the environmental impact uh, will be significantly reduced. Uh, far less uh, carbon emissions, far less uh, pollution uh, caused by the use of fossil fuels as a result of greater efficiency. But tell us a little bit about Versant, your position in the market and how you relate to big data. Versant has been in big data ever since its inception. About 25 years ago, uh, the company started its success story. It uh, has supplied uh, big data solutions into different verticals, uh, power and energy that we're talking about today, but also to related verticals such as telecom, financial services, transportation. So verticals where you can find network infrastructures. That is where the Versant technology uh, works very well. We uh, are in a very competitive industry. So we constantly benchmark ourselves uh, for competitive advantage. And so we have designed our systems so that they, are, they perform at a very high level on much less expensive hardware uh, than many of our competitors use. Uh, we also have a very uh, efficient way of storing information so we can store the same volume of information in a much uh, smaller uh, storage array. So the advantage to the customer is our data uh, is processed uh, much more quickly and much less expensively uh, than the competition. So in terms of big data, can you give an example of a specific problem in the energy industry that smart grids will solve? There are a couple of examples that I think are particularly important. Uh, one is with the operation of the grid itself. And a large system operator uh, will need to keep track of the overall health and status of the power grid in a given region. So that means understanding the status of thousands of generators, uh, hundreds of thousands of miles of transmission lines, number of, of uh, substations that distribute the energy to the ultimate consumer. So with the introduction of smart grid technology, there'll be many more sensors placed out around the grid providing information to provide situational awareness or the status and health of the power grid. On the other end, uh, at the consumer level, there are uh, the introduction of smart meters. And these measure the usage of electricity in the home and report back, often in real time, uh, to the utilities so that they can uh, monitor the usage and avoid uh, periods of congestion or, or possibly the risk of a blackout. And why are smart grids a big data challenge? They are because of a variety of reasons. The volume of data that we will have to face when we install synchrophases in the grid will be terabytes and ultimately petabytes of data. So we talk about large volumes. The variety of data is also substantial because you have a number of different sensors in the grid. It's not just the synchrophases, and even those already measure 15 different types of units uh, in milliseconds. Velocity, that means you have to process data fast. You have to acquire it fast, you have to process it fast so that operators can actually take decisions in real time. On top of that, you have validity. Validity means you have a certain shelf life of data so in other words, you do not want to store that data forever necessarily. You want to keep it at its cost that it needs to have in order to perform to satisfaction. And veracity really means that the accuracy of the data is 
to be accordingly, otherwise you will not get the final uh, result that you would like to know. But at the same time, it costs you money to get the accuracy. So you have to know what time window is right, uh, what cost you want to invest in order to make this all happen. So what projects are you working on at the moment? Versant, as I pointed out before, has been in big data for a number of years. Uh, so there are a variety of technology solutions that can be provided. A good example is Versant's newest uh, JPA. The new Versant JPA is faster. It is standards-based. It already has 75% of what you really need to do a big data management analytics solution. It is also in capable of making midstream information model changes without downtime to utilities, which is really critical because utilities cannot afford this. As you may have heard, uh, Versant has joined uh, the Electric Power Research Institute, uh, which runs the planet's largest uh, smart grid program in a collaborative manner. Uh, we have several projects that we're doing with them around interoperability. Another uh, project that we're doing with EPRI is uh, about wide area situational awareness. So we are building a content around uh, managing and analyzing the data that are coming from synchrophases. I would like to refer also to a number of uh, energy power projects that Versant has actually done in the past. So it didn't have to come to Smart Grid to talk about power and energy for, for Versant. So we had a number of projects with uh, the French independent system operator, one of the largest in the world. Um, it was about uh, day ahead forecasting, about simulating the steady state behavior of the grid, and also about uh, calculating uh, metrics that tell you if the grid is safe. Uh, another interesting project is around connectivity with a uh, building automation uh, provider called Echelon. Echelon deployed more than 300,000 solutions worldwide with Versant's uh, big data management, which really creates the necessary network configuration model that these buildings need in order to have interoperability and safe energy ultimately in operating costs. I think what Bert has just talked about is really the basis for our business strategy for the smart grid. Because we've been engaged in different parts of the world, we've got different perspectives on how the current electric power industry operates. And this gives us an excellent foundation in terms of targeting advanced developments going forward. So we've been uh, with the power industry in the past, we're operating with them today, and we'll continue to grow with them in the future. Bert Taub, Dr. Robert Brammer, thank you. Well, and thank you, we appreciate the opportunity. Thank you very much.